Hey there, I am Infixer, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. It's been a while since I played this game. I've been busy, so I'm probably pretty rusty, but um, to do a little bit of the tutorial again to, to refamiliarize myself with the game. But let's just hop back in and see how it goes. I'm uh, playing with as the Marine again. Kind of still want to save the other characters as a little bit of a novelty for later. Uh, so we'll just continue with Marine and see how things go. I am going to actually really quickly, how do I open my, uh, I guess, animote this thingy here to see what I start with here. Oh yeah, okay, it's the, um, it gives me, yeah, it calls it an ammo drop and then I get better reload speed and accuracy. Cool. All right. So let's get started and we'll see how this goes. Uh, like I said, it's been a while since I played. I've been pretty busy working on some research stuff, doing um, a paper submission just a few days ago, which has been taking up a lot of time. And been, uh, ooh, ow, already took damage, not great. Already took two hits of damage, <laughs> again, not great. Um, so getting back into this might be a little rough. Maybe I should play some runs off camera to get more familiar with this game, but, you know. Oh my gosh. That's no fun, right? You guys want to see me fail more than anything, I think, so. Try flip. I'm just going to try to flip the table there, but that did not happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if it's, uh, you know, if you guys are getting a little annoyed with just watching me flounder about and, and fail a bunch, then let me know and I can practice some off-camera before recording again. Try to actually get decent at this game, maybe make it past the first floor uh, for a change. Yeah, I guess that's not entirely accurate. I did make it past for floor a couple of times, but... You know, see how this goes. Oh, grenade. Oh, boy. Did I get hit there? I actually didn't notice. I may have. Uh, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Now I have to switch over to that. It's much simpler of a, uh, of a way to play. You get this little cursor here, which you don't get with, with, um, with controller. So, hopefully this will give me a little bit, make things a little bit easier for me. Easier to aim and stuff. Ooh, an extra blank. I like that. Um, you know, apparently there's a lot of cool stuff in this game. I watched a little bit of a video on it to see kind of what else there is to get. And, um, you know, there's a lot that I haven't seen yet in this game. So, looking forward to getting to there eventually. Um, I also learned that you can use dodge roll to kill stuff. And um, I think how it works is if the dodge roll kills something, you won't take damage. But if it doesn't, the second half of the dodge roll, you lose the invincibility. So the, the the invincibility is only for the first, you know, first half of the of the dodge roll sequence. So if the thing that you're jumping into isn't dead, you'll take damage on the second half. So if you, you if you know it's going to kill something, you can use it offensively, which is kind of a cool way to do it. But you got to be a little bit careful about about that in case you're uh, wrong. And ah, oh, okay, I tried to dodge roll there, just didn't get off in time. Get it off rather. All right, let's see what our item is. Crossbow, the original. One of the earliest examples of triggered, trigger-fired projectiles. Let's give it a shot. I also don't know if I should be reading all those descriptions every time. Um, maybe it's a little more Ooh, wow, this seems pretty powerful, but uh, also, okay. I actually was not aiming at that guy, but I'll take it. Um, so yeah, this one appears to be one shot per clip, so high reload time. Oh, wait, I actually didn't get hit that time, okay. I think I got hit by the first grenade, though. It's pretty strong. It's like one-shotting all this stuff. So I like that. Um, I guess I got teleported back here, but whatever, I've already run, so let's continue with running. Found the boss fight. Uh, I'm not quite ready to fight him yet. I want to uh, uh, hopefully get some HP back and maybe another gun. I don't know uh, how many item rooms there are before. Man, I'm liking this damage. And it seems to have plenty of ammo for... N oh, I dodged into that. Yeah, see, these guys I can kill with a dodge roll and not take damage. So that's pretty helpful. But yeah, like I said, I've been pretty busy. I was working on a, uh, a paper submission for my uh, graduate program, so that has been taking up a lot of time and was pretty stressful. But now that that's done, I have a little bit more uh, time to sort of hopefully play some more games and record a little bit more. Just for the fun of it. Well, this guy apparently takes two shots to kill. Uh, it's the, looks like the shop over here. Um, 28 coins. Itchy trigger finger. Mm, I should probably buy the HP, honestly, to try to stay alive. 
Um, and I guess I could donate some stuff here in the hopes of more money. If I get more money, I'll probably come back for maybe the armor, maybe the key, depending on where I... Oh, sweet, some HP. Wait, how did I... Oh, yeah, that's right. I just bought some health. Wow. I was supposed to say, wait, where did I get that extra HP from? Maybe because you bought it. Ugh. I am not the smartest man sometimes. <laughs> ah, should have dodge rolled that. I'm really used to playing the Binding of Isaac, which doesn't have a dodge roll mechanic, and so you're really just having to dodge most of the time. Oh, sweet HP. Um, ooh. Uh, I need a key. Hopefully I can find a key or get enough money to buy one. But we'll see. Uh, let's let's make this more... Oh, no. Never mind. Well, there's nothing else left on this floor as far as I can... Oh, I can zoom out. Okay. Yep. Floor appears to be empty, so unless I get enough money or a key off of the boss, uh, we'll not be getting whatever was in that chest. Anyways, let's uh, see who we're facing here for our first boss. The Bullet Twins, I think. Trigger Twins! Eh, close enough. I think these guys are uh, not too difficult compared. I think some of the other first floor bosses are worse, but I mean, again, oh, okay. Well, uh, spoke too soon, apparently. You know, I don't think any of these bosses are really that easy, at least for my current skill level, because um, I'm not very good at this game yet. But uh, dodge a little too late there. Did it pretty, pretty well at the time. Oh man, I barely escaped damage there. I should, yeah, I should try to focus on dodge rolling through shots rather than trying to dodge roll away from them. Oh man, I'm pretty much screwed here. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet, trying to focus and actually dodge roll appropriately. Uh, I might have a premature use of a plank, but it's okay. Wait, is this guy the one who's almost dead? Yeah. All right, I got one. Let's see if I can get the. Oh no! Dodge roll too soon there. Rats. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, you know, for my first time back, I think that wasn't too terrible. Um, let's go ahead and just restart. Same character, same uh, same setup here. Mostly just same character, I guess. I don't think there's any other setup options as far as I found so far. Back at it. Hopefully, uh, wore off some of the rust there. Let's see what happens. Second one back here. Hopefully, not take three hits of damage on the first room. All right, better, 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 better. All right, I have to remember that these guys are not actually. They seem like they're leaving little creep, like creep on the ground that'll damage me, but I don't think they actually are. So I think I can just walk on that red. Oop, I, mean, I don't think it's going to affect me negatively, so I should not be afraid to walk on top of it. Um, oh, okay. Yep, that was a little bit of a risky dodge. Came kind of too close to the enemy there, but was luckily not punished. I waited till he fired before dodging by him, um, before running by him. To avoid uh, getting shot at right where his top seem to have you know a cooldown time before they'll fire again, which is good. All right. I think one of the things I don't really utilize in this game is cover. I'm not really sure how to use it effectively, because you know whenever you're under cover you can't shoot enemies, and so sometimes I feel like it's better just to to shoot and dodge and dodge roll instead of uh, trying to hide for a bit. Maybe if you get overwhelmed or something, but I feel like if you get overwhelmed and you're hiding, you're just giving them more time to position and, and have further enemies to, to surround you. So I tend not to use the, uh, the cover very effectively. Let's go check out what's in our shop here. Looks like we got a blank available. We got a key, we got another key, we got some ammo. One of these items here. Meat bun and Potion of Lead Skin. I haven't seen either of those items before, so I don't know what they do. Can't afford anything yet, so we'll see if we get some more money as we progress here. Um, yeah, 
again with these enemies, I can dodge roll to kill their final form, not the current form. I wonder, yeah, they probably would still do damage to me while they're in um, mid, mid transformation to the smaller blobs, but then when they're in this form, I can just smack them in the face with my face. And only their face hurts. My face feels fine. Ooh, a key. Perfect timing, although I guess I've already had one key, but you know, now we've got two. Snowballer may contain rocks. I think we've had this item before, but it's been a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check it just for my own satisfaction here. This weapon was constructed the single time when the Gungeon was experiencing a snow day. New gun dead simply appeared within these cannon strapped to their bodies, blah 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Probably shouldn't waste any ammo. Hoping to get the letter R again. That's probably that's definitely my favorite gun. Okay, uh, this appears to be an empty room, so let's just teleport back out here and head downward. Um, I don't remember how much those items cost, but I get about 30, 30 bits or coins or whatever they're called, 30 shell casings maybe? I don't know what the ammo is. That was bad damage, by the way. It's too distracted trying to, try to look at how much money I had and think about what they should be called. But if I get about 30, I'll head back to the shop and check out how much uh, one of those items costs, because luckily I'm not in a position yet to need HP or ammo or anything, so hopefully I can use it on an actual item and not have to use it on the consumable. Ooh, I'm pretty close here, 29. Wow, I just, yeah. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, I think I totally jinxed myself. Talking about not needing HP or anything. Still don't need it yet, but if I take too much more damage, I might need it. This gun doesn't seem super powerful, but it does have the freeze effect, which is pretty nice. And I think it slows enemies when you shoot them. So even if it isn't hasn't frozen them yet, ah, oh, I just stood there. Um, it'll at least slow them. But uh, all right, found the boss fight. Let's go ahead and port back up to the shop really quick and see how much those items cost. Meat bun is thirty-five. They're both thirty-five. Okay. Well. Hopefully I get a little bit more money here to be able to afford it. If not, I'm just going to buy some HP. I may probably should just buy some HP anyways. Um, but we'll see how many more hits I end up taking before the end of the floor. Oh yeah, we probably have one more item coming too, don't we? So that'll be good. Hopefully that'll be useful. Starting to make the classic mistake of this types of games, which is to look at the enemies instead of myself. Keep your eye on, on your own character so you know when danger is around that you can dodge. Um, if you're looking at the enemy all the time, you won't be able to see shots. Can I not? There we go. Thank you. It's like, why the hell can I not pick up this stupid key? Uh, I'll probably have, yeah, one more room before the item room. Alright, froze that guy. The other guy. Do they stay frozen? Yeah, they appear like they stay frozen once you freeze them, so that's kind of cool. You don't have to, um, you don't have to worry about killing them right away, or like a, in a limited time once you've frozen them. Starting to get low on ammo here, so I think I'm going to switch back to the uh, Marine sidearm to finish off these guys. This room isn't too bad. Alright. Um, so yeah, HP is looking a little scary. Uh, what is this? Explosive rounds, mega blast. No clue what that is. It is a passive. Sweet. Add small explosive charges to some shots fired. Originally developed by the gun dead miners found deep in the black powder mines, these small explosive charges work wonders when clearing a room. Favor the gunsling king who enjoys the sound they make. All right. Um. I think I'm gonna make a poor decision and go with mm, this one. And it is an active item. Do we lose our other active item? Temporary Invulnerability, a product of Professor Gupton's rigorous research. Yeah, okay. So I think we take this active item, which means I may as well just use the, use the supply drop. No, can't use it. I have to be... Maybe I can't do it in the shop. 
Let's go ahead and just restock on ammo here and we'll take this other item with us. Or not. Oh my god. Seriously? You can't even leave a single item behind for a half a second? I'm a little, I'm a little salty about that. Um, pretty much just wasted a ton of money and the free ammo drop. <sighs> I mean, I guess you just can't leave any any active items behind or stuff. Whatever. Gonna try not to dwell on that, and instead, we'll go ahead and face the boss. Catling Gull. I wonder if he can be frozen. I wonder if bosses can be frozen. Wow, I don't even know how I got hit there. Ah! Uh, he can he can shoot faster than I can run, so I think I really gotta try to make smart use of the dodge roll there. Um, I'm gonna attempt one more one more run here in this video. Uh, all right. Seriously, wasting that invulnerability thing was very frustrating. I guess it was not worth it for the extra ammo. It's kind of weird that the, the active items are like single use, so I guess it's really just worth it to just try to use them, or a lot of them seem to be anyways. So it's worth it to just try to use them whenever it seems viable. Because you never know when you might get another one that, that you want to actually hold on to. So... I wonder if there's any way to get speed upgrades in this game. Like, that, that last boss, having him be able to shoot in ways that I couldn't really just, like, run past was kind of frustrating, so maybe that just means I need to get better at dodge rolling. Which is probably the case. Alright. Alright, really hoping to make it past the first floor in this one. That's all I'm hoping for. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. What are those guys? I don't know if I've seen these enemies before. It's kind of cool. These book guys are kind of annoying to fight too. They start not very tanky, they, they go down pretty quickly, but they shoot they shoot some really interesting shots. Alright, our first item is the unfinished gun. It's sort of a little bit unpredictable in the way that it fires. Not the best item in the game, but you know. Probably more interesting than our regular uh, base item. Wow, really? There's no teleport to the to that big hub room right there. Take the long way around. Oh well. The teleports seem to be weirdly placed. Not really in the most convenient locations sometimes, but... Whatever. We're back in the action. And that room was pretty, uh, pretty easy. Pretty explosive, if I do say so. Right. I gotta remember those guys, too. The little, uh, fatty little things uh, seem to shoot just one shot, but actually that exploded into many shots. Well, you won't fool me. Your, your friend already tried. Ooh, grenade! And we're out. And never mind. One more. And boom. Oh, oh, two more. Oh, okay. Bad damage. I did not see that guy, so apparently three more. Alright, got some HP back so I can get as punished there as I probably should have. Taking two damage on the same room is pretty bad. It's kind of my goal. Oh, that was, uh, that was a misclick. My fingers accidentally hit the Q key. And I immediately took damage afterwards, which was unfortunate too. But, we move on. Trying to use cover a little bit here. I seem to actually pay off a bit. Since I could kind of ignore those two enemies while I fought the other two. Oh, I guess we got a ton of money this time, so hopefully if we can find the find the uh, find the shop here. Make use of that. Get some good items. 
Maybe some HP as well. Well, maybe not. I don't have a key. That's unfortunate. Apparently there's a room up there that I missed. We'll go back for that later. Unless I've already kind of secured everything I want to secure on this floor, then maybe I won't, but... For now, I think probably worth it to explore every floor as, or every room as long as I'm not too low on HP. Alright, made to the shop. Let's see, is it a map? Map? Ooh, I might get that. That seems helpful. Pitchfork. That's a pretty decent weapon, I think, but I think I'm gonna go for the map. And you know what? I can still afford the pitchfork. No, I can almost afford the pitchfork. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's go up here and let's see the boss fights over here. So we got two more rooms here. Let's go up here. Not there. Let's go see if we can um, see what happens up in these last two rooms, and then we will maybe go try to get a key from the shop if I don't haven't found one before then in order to get that last item. I won't worry about the pitchfork. Even though I have enough money for it, I think I'd rather get a, uh, a sh uh, the random item. I don't think the pitchfork was am amazing or anything. I think I'll take my chances with the chest. Never mind, there's nothing else here. Right. Well, let's go ahead and buy the key then. And... You know, I have enough money for a half heart, so I may as well take it. And then let's go back for the item. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, there was a key here, wasn't there? Of course. Well, I could add the pitchfork too. That's a pretty, pretty annoying mistake. Oh well. Let's see what we got. Jar of bees. Pain. Let's see. These bees have carefully been carefully trained to hunt down enemy munitions and destroy them. That sounds pretty sweet. Alright, so, rather than make the same mistake I did last time, let's call in this ammo drop, pick up the jar of bees, get the ammo, and head on to the boss fight. Take a drink of my uh, beverage here. Ah! Alright, King Bullet. I remember this guy being probably the easiest of the uh, Bullet King, damn, whatever. Being the easiest of the enemies I've, I remember facing before. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that's the case. If I remember correctly, and I can take him out. Oh, that was a little close. Ah, uh, yep. Should have used a blank there. Dodge roll a little too late. Just dodge these normally. Dodge roll here so I can get some range here. I'm okay. Oh man, I almost dodge rolled into the end of that one. A little too late on the dodge roll. Dodge rolling is definitely a, a fine fine skill between doing it too early and too late. If you do it too early, uh, they'll hit you anyways, and if you do it too late, then you'll just take damage before you even initiate the roll. Um, oh, that guy went down like a chump. Definitely some of the attacks you're not supposed to. Like this one, you're probably not supposed to dodge roll. Yeah, using a blank was definitely a good idea there, since I did get hit. I should have used it sooner, though. Um... Oh man, I should have double that because I was almost hit there. Wait, I don't have any more blanks. Oh, that's right, because I accidentally used that one. Crap. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I knew that was. I panicked. I panicked and fell apart there. <sighs> well, that is too bad. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you had fun. Um, definitely, definitely working off the rust yet. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, have a nice day.